Hello friends, I am here with the solution to the NEST 2019 question that asked us about the toy train that moved on a train track with constant speed. So the question was regarding the acceleration and force acting upon the toy train. Let's observe the train's track. It consists of two linear paths and two curved paths. It is given to us that the speed of the train is constant throughout the track. Now talking about its velocity on the linear path, the velocity is constant. That is, the velocity does not change because the direction of motion is not changing. And because the velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero on the linear path. Now we know acceleration is zero on the linear path. So from Newton's second law, that is F is equal to m into a, that is mass into acceleration, and acceleration is zero, so m into zero, so f is zero. So the force is zero on the linear path. Now let's consider the curved path of the track. Taking this as the train, it initially moves towards the right side. But as it takes the curved path, the direction of motion is continuously changing and then it finally moves towards the left side. On the curved path, the speed is constant, but as the direction of motion is continuously changing, the velocity is not constant. Hence, the acceleration is non-zero and it's always directed towards the center of the curved path. This is called the centripetal acceleration. From Newton's second law, force is equal to ma. Force is also non-zero as acceleration is non-zero. And this is known as a centripetal force. One of the options talks about the speed of the train on the curved path and the linear path. When we see the video, it appears to us that the speed of the train is more on the curved path as compared to the linear path. But we cannot judge the speed of the train just by having a look at it. For example, when we sit in a moving train and observe from the window, the trees that are near to us, they appear to move faster than those trees which are farther away. But the truth is, the train is moving at constant speed throughout. Similarly, it's difficult to judge the speed of the train on this kind of track. From this question, I learned about the concepts related to speed, velocity, acceleration, centripetal acceleration, force, centripetal force, direction of motion, Newton's second law, and I also learned a very important point that what we see need not be the truth. I will be back with more solutions to the questions in the nest.